<laughs> so I have a whole bunch in there. Have a good rummage around. Take out whatever envelope you'd like. I'd like you to take your ID, put it inside, and seal it closed. I'm going to avert my gaze so I don't see what you're actually doing. But give me a heads up once you have an envelope. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Can I have the bowl? Thank you. And in fact, my committee of here at the front. Inside's a card and an envelope. All I need you to do is take each one for yourself, pass the bowl down. We'll get about five or six or so of these. When you have a gift card and an envelope, just seal them inside. You are going to be our distractions, our placebos of the experiment and so forth. I'll get that in a moment. All sealed inside and good? Oh, yes. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> I can hear you just out loud so they feel involved. <laughs> Uh, to your right, there's a big black board, a piece of foam core. I'd like you to take a piece of tape and tape your envelope onto that board. Wherever you want, there is no right, there is no wrong, anything of the sort. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. If you last two, would be the, that would be fantastic. If you want to see one and two, go for it. Go crazy. <laughs> and I'll get that bowl out of your hands once you're all done. Great. So the six of you, or seven of you, or however many there are, you are going to be our distractions in this wonderful game of chance. So place a card inside and lift them close. Six of these things, or one, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Six of these envelopes contain business, or I'm sorry, um, gift cards with nothing on them. They're, there's, they're of no value, they're pieces of plastic with some kind of interesting Starbucks logo on them. One of them contains something very valuable to Amy, her ID. The one piece of information that validates her existence. So, I tease, of course, Amy. I tease, I tease, I tease. Could you hand me the tape? Actually, could you hand the tape to the gentleman just over here? Each of you take a little bit of tape and just tape the top of part of that, because Amy's going to paste these to the board in a random order. Or you can just take the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Each one of them? Yeah, just hand him a little piece of tape or whatever. Perfect. Exactly like he did. Follow his example. While this is happening, imagine what would you do in this situation. Six or so different distractions, one thing of value. Um, psychic industries and so forth, they call the psychometry, being that some things that we have pertinent information, either information about ourselves or we hold a lot, has some kind of resonance to us. All good, Amy? Yeah. I'm making you work so extra hard. Could you all, actually, Amy, take that board. Grab each envelope and stick it somewhere intermixed with yours. Make sure no one gets an accidental peek which in relation is to you. You are the only holder of the information that knows where yours is in relation to everything else. Good. Let's give Amy a big round of applause for doing that. That was wonderful, Amy. Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> a hodgepodge of madness. So six of these things contain gift cards. One of them contains your identification, your ID. At the moment, you have an idea which is which, yeah? Yeah. You do. Yeah, I do. We're going to change that. Could you rearrange these in any way that you want? So now we're going to make this double blind. Okay. I don't know. You don't know. He doesn't know. No one can know. Make sense? All good? <laughs> Any idea? Yeah. Vaguely? <laughs> Amy, you horrify me. But that's okay. One of these contains your ID. We cannot potentially know which is which. It's time to play our little game. Amy, if you could stand right over here for me. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Good. Face the audience for a moment. Hold out your right hand. Face just that way. Stay just there. Do you trust me? <laughs> Big fun time. Yeah. So now we have six left. Hopefully one of them being your identification. I'm going to try and get sense and vibrations from you to determine which is yours. Like a divining rod would find water in a desert. Hold your hand out flat. The suspense. Yeah. 
second I touch it, it's gone. <laughs> so now we're down to four. You have a 25% chance of being OK. If not, this could lead to an endless menagerie of mind-numbing hours and hours at the DMV. <laughs> Hold your hand out once again. Do you consider yourself hard to read? Not really. You're yeah. a fairly open book. Yeah, I'm pretty open. <laughs> okay. I like you, Amy. <laughs> okay. Which would you go for next? I'm curious. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fainting suspicion. That was the one. This was the yeah, one. That was the it one. was the one. Well, let's hope you're wrong. <laughs> so now we have three left. Hold your hand once again. I'm going to do two this time. Okay. A <laughs> lot of warmth from that one, not so much from these. So I'm going to eliminate you. And yep, I'm gonna eliminate this one. <laughs> so Amy, let's recap here. <laughs> You came up of your own volition. You donated your identification that has been sealed inside envelopes. Six people had gift cards in them. You placed them in a random order. They were thus again mixed. No way any human could possibly have divined which one was which. Correct? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. There's one <laughs> left. Hopefully, <laughs> we're on the right track for the grand finale. Amy, I won't touch a thing. How on over to that one. <laughs> Take it off. Reach inside, pull it out, show them what it is. <laughs> that is her ID. Give her a big round of applause. Amy, you were absolutely brilliant. You can head on back. One more time for Amy, everybody. It was lovely.